In 722 BC, the nation of Israel, the ten northern tribes, went into Assyrian captivity. And in 586, the southern kingdom of Judah was defeated, and most of its inhabitants were taken to Babylon. The book of Hosea speaks of a time when the children of Judah and the children of Israel would be gathered together. Hosea prophesied that the number of the children of Israel would be as the sands of the sea, that a remnant would be saved, and that people who were not at that time a part of that remnant would one day be called children of the living God. In the New Testament book of Romans, the Apostle Paul, in reference to the book of Hosea, says they are not all Israel which are of Israel, neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. He tells us that the Gentiles which followed not after righteousness have attained to righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith. In chapter 11, Paul exhorts believers, For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits that blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles or nations be come in. And so, all Israel shall be saved. In the book of Galatians, Paul says that there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus, and if ye be Christ, then ye are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Today, believers around the world are recognizing the fact that the church is not a separate entity from Israel and that the Ten Commandments are not Old Testament precepts that were nailed to the cross. What we recognize as the New Testament in no way sets aside those commandments. The New Testament is simply the rest of the story. While believers are saved by grace through faith, sin is still defined as the transgression of the law and the penalty for sin is still death. Jesus did not die in order that we might transgress His laws and practice sin. All His commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever and are done in truth and uprightness. He sent redemption unto His people. He hath commanded His covenant forever. Holy and reverend is His name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do His commandments. His praise endureth forever. Earnestly contending for the faith once delivered to the saints, I'm Richard Reeves with Just the Facts.